Hi guys, uh, hi Ian, hi BMO. It's uh, Scott here, obviously, uh, out at the field today with uh, for the second time with uh, the F16 XL. Uh, just had a bit of a warm up flight here to get my thumbs and my brain uh, warmed up. It's uh, it's only about minus it's about minus two Celsius right now. Uh, the frost is just gone because of the snow there, uh, but luckily I've got a fire going. Well, I can't see the smoke now because the fire is nice and hot, but we've got a wood stove in that clubhouse over there so I can go in and warm up. So uh, anyway, I, w I was hoping to get some uh, flight video today and uh, keep it out of the sun, but before I do that, I just wanted to uh, kind of show you uh, uh, what my throws uh, look like. So I think I already uh, uh, wrote and told you. So I'm a bit measuring my throws sort of right at this point here. Uh, you know, they're going to probably end up being a lot, you know, out here because of the length of this this piece right here. They're going to be, uh, uh, sorry, I got a servo chattering a little bit. Um, they're going to be a lot more, so that would be sort of false, uh, false travel I think just because you've got that big long lever so I'm about an inch about an inch there I think and very small in the uh, in the roll as I mentioned uh, I think I'm about three eighths and uh, there's my rudder so you can see uh, a little bit there if I was to do it again I'd put uh, some some reinforcement and I may still do that anyway um, I can use some of this uh, fiberglass uh, drywall tape and some foam cure and just sort of do like a poor man's uh, fiberglass there uh, because you can see whoops that uh, vertical stab does flex quite a bit of course I've got a you know a pretty massive uh, rudder there that I'm playing with so I haven't um, I haven't done anything with the KFs today although <clears throat> as we go through the day uh, I'm gonna probably trim them to at least the 50 percent here and uh, see how that uh, <clears throat> affects the uh, performance and the speed um, I did put a, um, uh, a 22126 uh, 2700 uh, kV motor in it, uh, which is, you know, focal price deal extreme, although focal price has been out of them for like a year. Uh, so it's a little bit peppier than the motor I first flew it with in all those test flights that I did. Uh, it's a 6x3 EMP prop, so it's a lot, uh, it uh, spools up a, a little bit uh, quicker. So again, there's my... Uh, there's my battery bay, uh, electronics bay. Uh, batteries pretty much all towards the front. I'll be interested to see as I uh, trim some off of the KF how that affects the CG. I'm assuming it'll probably, from my experience with the MiG-35, uh, it'll probably uh, slide the CG back uh, even a little bit further. So uh, anyway, I'll experiment with that uh, a little bit today and, and see how we go. Um, so anyway, uh, let's uh, let's toss her in the air here and uh, and see how we uh, we make out. So we get up, left, right, left, right. That's good. And the motor spins. That's always a good thing. All right. So I'm going to kind of walk out towards more towards the middle of the field and try and keep my flying sort of in this area here to to stay out of the sun, both for for me and for you. Um, so here we go. So launch is very, uh, very stable because it's well balanced. Obviously a little bit of torque roll there. Um, so I normally get up to about, I, I normally cruise around probably at about 60% throttle. Nice smooth loop there. That was only about uh, half deflection with those throws that I have. So I'll just show you, that's what a loop looks like, full deflection. Now what I really like about this plane, uh, lots of park jets because they have uh, oversized control surfaces, elevons, is when you do that and you come out of the bottom of the loop, it sort of parks itself because those uh, elevons now turn into speed brakes. So there's, there's a couple of rolls with the full stick and I'm about half stick there for a more scale roll. So let me do a more scale loop here in front of me. So I'm barely, I don't know, maybe a third to half stick there to get a nice smooth loop. Kick the rudder over. It doesn't, it, uh, 
that that was a, a you know an attempted stall turn there. <laughs> Uh, so here's a stall turn to the left. It's far more responsive. Whoop. A little bit of pilot error there. It wasn't as smooth as it could be. It's far more responsive to the left. I think with the single fin and the prop wash and prop torque. Um, yeah, so it kicks nice on the, towards the left here. So let's line her up and... and uh, <laughs> nice and smooth, nice split S there. Bring her back down here. So it's pretty, uh, you know, it's pretty quick. I'm, I'm amazed at the, um, very, very responsive in the, uh, in the pitch. Um, so there you go, like that's a 90 degree, I, I just kind of, uh, you know, slam the stick back all the way back and then let it go. So, you know, if I, if I need to uh, really get it myself out of trouble, there's, you know, instant, instant pitch response. Um, the one thing when I was doing those rolls I wanted to mention, I was actually quite pleasantly surprised how responsive it is in the roll for sort of a delta wing. And I think maybe because it doesn't have a huge uh, wingspan. Oops, sorry about the sun there. Doesn't have a huge wingspan with, res with respect to the, uh, to the length. So I'm just gonna toss it up into a, kind of an arc test here. Um, so 30 degrees nose up, I just chopped the throttle and it just floats. Uh, you know, what I'm looking for there, obviously is for it to just, you know, kind of float over the top, not do anything uh, crazy or violent. See if I can't. I'm a terrible inverted flyer here, but. So very, very well balanced inverted. Um, you know, I, I'm keeping maybe 10 to 20% forward pressure on my stick to, uh, to keep the nose from dropping. Little victory roll. <laughs> I know it's probably hard to see against this blue sky with that white uh, paint scheme as I zip out of there but so we'll go into some tight uh, tighter turns here really uh, you know I'm just I'm just elevons there no rudder input uh, you know what I like there is that it's it keeps its energy so nicely it doesn't uh, it doesn't drop the nose you know, some planes that are that are obviously nose heavy or not balanced properly. Uh, I find that, you know, if I go into a into a you know a nice tight uh, turn, that you know the nose will drop or the plane will start to lose its energy. Okay, so I just had my landing beeper go off here. So let's we got to do one more high speed. <laughs> high speed pass. Okay, so on landing, I find it so beautifully balanced. I'll just bring it in here. So I'm about six feet in the air there. Chop the power. Just has a beautiful sink rate. Um, you know, naturally, I just input a little bit of up elevator there at the at the very end to just kind of hold it off. But you know, it uh, I'm really impressed with how beautifully uh, beautifully balanced it is there. So uh, awesome job, uh, guys! Uh, really, really impressed. It's a very uh, you know obviously a very unique. Um, airplane uh, at you know f16 uh, xl i think you guys have done an amazing job with capturing the you know the very uh, very scale looks uh, especially with the with the wing and the tail section there uh very impressed with uh with how it flies you know it's uh it's uh you know very simple only really you need four four channels essentially uh and three if you don't uh if you don't want to mess around with the uh with the rudder um but uh, just a beautiful flying plane uh just honored that you guys asked me to fly it and uh, test it for you so again uh, i'll uh, i'll play around some more i wanted to get some video shot now um while it's quiet here at the field uh and there wasn't any anybody else around uh just so i could talk and wear this camera on my head and not sound and look like more of a fool than i normally am so thanks very much guys and again I'll post this up for you guys and uh, and write up some more of my uh, flight report 
uh, from today's uh, tinkering with the KFs. So uh, thanks again, awesome plane, great job, and we'll talk to you soon.